Hello my dear students. Welcome to online class. Today we are going to discuss exercise from chapter 5 that is separation of substances. Okay. So let's discuss about the question answer. Okay. First question. Why do we need to separate different components of a mixture? Give two examples that I have already discussed that uh, students we need to separate different components of a mixture to separate the useful components from the non-useful or some harmful components. Examples tea leaves are separated from tea and pebbles are separated from rice and pulse. I have also shown you some <coughs> pictures of such separation. Okay. Next question. What is winnowing? and where it is used as you have uh, known that uh, there are different methods of separation of substances among them winnowing is a process and where it is used let us know okay the process of separating heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or by blowing air is called winnowing and this method is used by farmers to separate lighter husk particles from the heavier seed of grains. Okay, so here the main purpose of winnowing is known to us. Next, how will you separate husk or dirt particles from a given sample of pulses before cooking? This is already done by our mom in our home. Husk or dust particles can be separated by winnowing method. It is used to separate the heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or by blowing air. And in this method, the mixture of husk and seed of grains are taken in plate and are made to fall down from the height up to our shoulders. And as the mixture falls down, lighter husk is taken away by blowing air and the heavier grains the uh, heavier grain seeds that fall down to make a heap okay so by this way uh, we separate husk or dart particles from a given sample of pulses before cooking okay now the next question what is sieving and where can it be used so sieving is the process of separating fine particles from the larger particles by using a sieve is called sieving and where it can be used this method is used in flour mills where impurities like husk and stones are removed from wheat before grinding it okay and this method is also used at our home where fine flour particles are separated from bigger impurities by using a sieve okay now comes to next question how will you separate sand and water from their mixture sand and water can be separated by any of the following two methods what are those methods first are called sedimentation and decantation next is filtration so what is actually done in sedimentation and decantation i have already told you uh, how this process is done and uh, what are the things which are required for sedimentation decantation and filtration okay and how it is done that i have already told with some diagram in previous class okay so first comes to sedimentation and decantation where mixture is kept undisturbed for some time and after some time sand being heavier and insoluble in water settle down at the bottom of container now water is poured into another container to separate it from sand next filtration what is filtration mixture of sand and water is passed through a filter paper a filter with very fine pores here the filter paper act as sieve okay and sand particles being larger in size are retained by the filter paper and get separated from the water so by this way we can easily separate sand and water from the 
mixture okay now let's come to next question is it possible to separate sugar mixture with wheat flour if yes how will you do it so just think of this question when uh, when wheat flour and sugar is being mixed how can you separate the two mixture sugar can be separated from wheat flour by sieving yes as by sieve you can easily separate uh, sugar and wheat flour as wheat flour are very uh, tiny very tiny things means uh, tiny particles so they are easily uh, easily goes through the sieve okay and uh, and below the sieve they make a heap of a flow and sugar is on the sieve okay now sugar particles being larger in size they are retained by sieve whereas wheat flour will pass through the sieve okay this is the final answer so it is possible that sugar can be separated from wheat flour by sieving okay but after if we are uh, going to make a dough with sugar and wheat flour then it is impossible as it is already mixed with the wheat flour okay with water that's why next question how would you obtain clear water from a sample of muddy water if you if you are uh, requested to collect muddy water and uh, you are being asked to obtain clear water from the sample of muddy water how will how will you do this now we can obtain clear water from the sample of muddy water by the process of filtration yes in this method we use a filter paper which is a fixed in funnel actually the filter paper that i have shown you uh, that was a circle type structure then after folding it we get a proper structure okay and so then we get a proper structure of filter paper which can be fixed in funnel and then the mixture is poured on the filter paper mud particles as uh, they are larger in size and that they will remain on the filter paper as filter paper act as sieve whereas clear water will pass through it okay so today up to this and uh, in the next slide we will discuss about the remaining portion of this exercise okay that's all thank you have a nice day